Welcome, I am your host Jasmine and I am the owner of Willem Pine Studios. We know that you're super busy so that's why we're going to be giving you bite-sized information and tips so that you can get on with your day and you can put these into action straight away. Hello and welcome to this fortnight's episode where I'm going to be talking to you about work-life balance as a business owner. As a business owner, we all know that the line between work and life can be very, very fine. So as the year ramps up, I thought I'd share some tips that you can put into action to create a bigger divide between those two parts of your life and create a better balance overall. There are many benefits to having a good work-life balance, such as increased productivity and job satisfaction and a reduced staff turnaround. So how can we put this into action? So I would recommend taking a step back and looking at what your current situation looks like. This could be just one afternoon or you could take a couple of weeks off and find out what is really important to you. Okay, so now that you know what is important to you, we're going to give you some tips to put into action so that you can create a bigger divide between your work and life. So the first tip that I'm going to be sharing with you is to finish work at a reasonable hour. Now I know this is really hard, especially if you work another job and you come home and you just wanna knuckle down or you've just put your kids to sleep and it's the only time that you've found to do some work. Now I'm not saying anything wrong with that. However, be mindful of the time that you do end up going and shutting everything down and winding down for the night. Now I found a bit of information that I thought was really interesting that I wanted to share with you. So I'm gonna read it off my phone. According to a study published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, if you are spending long hours at work, you're at greater risk of health issues such as insomnia, heart disease and obesity. Now, I thought that was really interesting and made me have a really hard look at the time that I finished work. So obviously every business is very different and every situation is different, but really making sure you're mindful and you are turning everything off and winding down and having a little bit of you time in the evening is so, so important. Alrighty, so leading on from this is the fact that you don't have to work Monday to Friday, nine to five. You are your own boss. You get to decide your hours of operation. However, in saying this, you still need to be mindful of the times that your customers or clients are active so that you're available to them. So for me, I work Saturday, Sundays and Monday mornings at my mainstream job So I have the rest of the Mondays off and then I work from Tuesday to Friday, ensuring that I am contactable for my clients throughout their week that they are at work. Again, this is different for every business. This is what works for me in my business and may not work for you. The next one that I wanted to touch on is do not ignore burnout signs. As a business owner, it can be tough and then even having personal life stresses added on top sometimes can become unbearable. So here is your reminder to please take note of your burnout signs and act accordingly as soon as you see them. If you do ignore the signs of burnout, not only will your business suffer, but your family will suffer too. When you are so mentally exhausted, you cannot give your business nor your family the time and love it deserves. So please, as soon as you notice signs of burnout, stop what you're doing and go and look after you. Even if it's just an evening of self-care or even a week, please look after you because if you don't, you could suffer in the long run. Now, I am sharing this from personal experience as since I've been a business owner since 2015, I've had multiple burnouts over the years. So please take a leaf out of my book and notice those burnout signs, which can be different for everyone and take action and look after you, be kind to you. And finally, embrace the imbalance and embrace the journey that you're on. You're not going to get a beautiful work-life balance overnight, so just embrace it. You may stuff up over time, but that's how we learn. And it's going to take some time for you to get your mojo. (laughs) So there you go. Our few tips on creating a better work-life balance and a bigger divide between your current work-life situation. Thank you so much for joining me this fortnight as we spoke about creating a work-life balance as a business owner. Join me in next fortnight's podcast episode where we are going to be talking about the importance of branding and some tips on creating a more recognizable brand straight away. 
If you're listening to this podcast on Spotify, we would absolutely love it if you'd consider to follow us and leave our ranking so that other people can find our podcast too. And if you're watching us on YouTube, we'd really love it if you consider subscribing, liking and leaving a comment down below. Thank you so much for joining us this fortnight. I'll see you next time. Bye.